Really happy with that fish. Let's get it back. The river has been on this platform. That's how high the river has flooded. That is a nice little perch, isn't it? Hello guys, welcome back to Bearded Hooker UK. Today we are back on the river with the micro lords doing some micro uh, fishing. Uh, using the ultralight setup, trying to catch perch, pike, maybe some little chub, just whatever's sort of lurking down there. There's been a month's worth of rainfall in the past two days alone. It's just rained non-stop. The rain has stopped today. Um, so I'm wanting to try it out. There's going to be loads of new water. It's going to be coloured. Uh, it's going to be flooding in places. The river is looking quite high. So yeah, let's see what's lurking down there. Right then, first cast, let's go. Just using a um, little micro boy, it's a tiny little fry imitation, using it in like a dark grey colour, just because the water is very coloured today. So something nice and dark should stand out. The water is really high as well. It's probably a good foot higher than it normally is. It's a good sign. Seeing lots of fish being chased around as well, so hopefully we'll be able to get something. I'm into a fish. I'm into a fish. Get in. It's a perch. Oh, get in. <laughs> in the net, let's take a look at this fish. Let's have a look at this guy then. First fish of the session. Get in. That was like the fourth, fifth cast. That is a nice little perch, isn't it? Awesome fish. It's got a bit of a mangled uh, top fin there. Huh? Yeah, look at that. That's like the, the, the fifth, fourth or fifth cast. Beautiful perch, let's get it back. What an absolutely fantastic start we have had to this session then. The first spot, which is the most unreliable spot on this stretch, <clears throat> get a perch in the first few casts. Uh, I'm just changing spots now because I don't want to stay at the same place for too long. But yeah, absolutely great start. And I've never used a dark coloured lure before. I always go for the brighter ones. Um, but yeah, I just thought I'd take a chance with it being coloured water. And yeah, straight away. Let's go down to the, uh, the viaduct and then we'll try another viaduct and then see how we get on. Okay, so we're under the bridge, but the river has been all the way up to the barrier and the ground is so soft. I'm whispering because I'm really close to the water. And last time I was down here, I had a pike on like the second cast. I don't want to disturb anything. <laughs> Hopefully there'll be something under here. I can't believe how high the water is. It's crazy. Come on. There's gotta be something under here. Oh, that's a fish. That's a fish. Oh no, it's not. Snagged. God damn it. <laughs> right, so we unfortunately did not get anything at the first viaduct, but I'm now at the second viaduct. You can see the river behind me and this platform that I'm stood on, which is probably a good five feet above the water level. The river has been on this platform. That's how high the river has flooded. It is absolutely crazy. It's receded back down pretty much to its normal level. It's still a little bit higher than normal, but yeah, that must have been some volume of water to get over this wall. So yeah, let's see if there are any fish under this bridge. second viaduct was also fishless unfortunately so I'm thinking because a lot of the the spots with like mud banks they're pretty much impossible to get down at the minute I've nearly just slipped in trying to get to one of them so plan 
is I'm going to go back to the first spot where we had that perch because that's a nice solid concrete bit uh, and there was loads of fish action down there, loads of little fish being chased. So I think that's probably the best chance of getting a few more. So I'm going to stick at that spot for a bit, try a few different lures and hopefully we'll get a few more fish on the bank. Right, I've been fishing back at the first spot where I got the perch uh, earlier this session. Uh, I've been fishing it for a while, I've been using a, a Fox Rage micro fry and I've just had the first take since moving back and the tail has been completely bitten off, which is really annoying because I really liked this lure. Um, so that means that that was probably um, a little pike that just kind of grabbed the tail there, um, which is, yeah, really annoying. So, I mean, it's a good sign that there is still fish here. There is absolutely so much action. Uh, there's some big pike on the far side, absolutely smashing shoals of fish. Um, I can't reach over there with the micro stuff though. But yeah, I'm still hopeful. Let's put a different lure on and see if we can get one. <laughs> Persistence has paid off finally. Nice little perch. A lot smaller than the first one we caught. There we go, spine up as well. Awesome stuff. Really happy with that fish. Let's get it back. <sighs> Just as I was about to give up, we've got another perch on the bank. Get in. Oh, hooked in the side of the mouth on a little copito relax shad. So look at this guy. Another nice little perch. Awesome. Do you know what? I might just have a couple more go, see if we can get one or two more fish. Awesome stuff. I think we're onto something now. I've just caught a little tiny chublet. I can't believe it. This is the second time I've caught a tiny chub from this spot. This one's the bigger of the two that I have caught. Let's just get it unhooked there. Again on the uh, black and silver copy to relax shad. That is an absolutely cracking little little tiny chub look at that i'm absolutely chuffed with that awesome fish to catch let's get it back <laughs> get in right we're gonna have to leave it there we did not get any more fish unfortunately but do you know what three perch and a little chub i'm really happy with that just jigging on a a, a flooded river there weren't many spots that we could get to because of how bad the uh, the ground was but yeah uh, a really good session overall i really hope you enjoyed uh seeing those really cool fish um if you haven't already it'd be awesome if you could please follow me on tiktok and instagram you can find me at bearded hooker uk also please subscribe to the channel at the time of filming uh we're really close to 150 subscribers which is great uh, and i really want to grow it as much as i can so if you could do that that would be amazing thank you and i will hope to see you in the next video cheers